controversial French model, 16, who was dubbed the most beautiful girl in the world at the age of 6 walks the runway for Dolce & Gabbana at Milan Fashion Week. Once labeled the most beautiful girl in the world, French model Thylane Blondu has been popping up at Fashion Week shows this month but until now, she's merely been sitting in the audience. On Saturday night, the 16-year-old got to finally flaunt her model chops, as she walked in Dolce & Gabbana's Spring 2018 presentation at Milan Fashion Week. The teenager fit right in during the parade of gorgeous, glamorous people who took to the catwalk, strutting her stuff in a red and white floral gown by the design house. Thylane wore a white half-sleeve gown with a red and pink print of flowers and hearts. Her sleeves and waist were cinched with red sequins, with a red sequin heart centering the belt of the dress. The young model was accessorized like her other runway counterparts, carrying a mirrored clutch, decked out in pearl jewelry, and balancing a bejeweled tiara a Dolce & Gabbana favorite on her head. She also struck the same pouty mouth stare she'd been practicing all week in the front row. At just 5 feet 6 inches, Thylane is actually rather short for a profession model, though her reputation as the most beautiful girl in the world clearly preceded her. Signed to IMG, she happens to be the daughter of soccer star Patrick Blondu a celebrity background that she had in common with many of the other models walking in the show. In fact, most of the young men and women who took to the catwalk have famous parents, or other famous family members. She was joined by Haley Baldwin, daughter of actor Stephen Baldwin, McKinley Hill, sister of Victoria's Secret model Taylor Hill, Talita von Forstenberg, granddaughter of designer Diane von Forstenberg, Corinne Fox, daughter of actor Jamie Foxx, and Amber L. E. Vaughn, daughter of Duran Duran singer Simon L. E. Vaughn. There was also Delilah Bell Hamlin, daughter of Harry Hamlin and Lisa Rinna, Lori Harvey, daughter Steve Harvey, and Anais Gallagher, daughter of Oasis Noel Gallagher. The male models had some famous last names too, Brandon Thomas Lee, son of Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson, Miles B. O'Neill, son of Shaquille O'Neal, and Christian Combs, son of Diddy. The models are all part of Dolce & Gabbana's DG Millennials campaign, though many of them are actually teens and in their early 20s, making them members of the younger generation Z. They all walked in the designer's secret show on Saturday night, which was followed up by another presentation on Sunday morning where the A-list offspring all sat front row. This was actually Thylane's second show for Dolce & Gabbana, though her walk at the brand's presentation earlier this year flew under the radar. Not this time, though, and Thylane was surely celebrating the cap off to a very exciting fashion month. Last week, she she sat front row at London Fashion Week, scoring a coveted seat at Tommy Hilfiger's Spring 2018 presentation, which included designs from his collaboration with Gigi Hadid. Thylane donned a sporty red and blue ensemble by the American designer and sat tight as Gigi, her sister Bella, Haley Baldwin, and Jordan Dunn took to the runway. She brought along her best friend, Daniel Day Lewis' son Gabriel Kane Day Lewis, who posed for pictures beside her. Despite only just starting to ramp up her modeling career as an adult, Thylane is already famous for her child modeling career. When she was just four years old, she walked the runway for Jean Paul Gaultier. Then, when she was six, she covered Vogue on Fauna supplement that ran in Vogue Paris and featured children's clothing. That's when the media began to call her the most beautiful girl in the world. At age 10, she posed for an infamously sexualized shoot for Vogue Paris, stirring controversy and debate. Now, she is finally joining the adult modeling world, scoring runway invitations and chances to sit in the front row. While her seat at the Tommy Hilfiger show is certainly an in-demand ticket, however, Thylane barely cracked a smile as she walked the red carpet ahead of the presentation. She posed for photographers, affecting a pouty mouth gaze that seemed to be meant to highlight her plump lips. She shared a photo of herself with friends on Instagram as well also not smiling as she posed near a bar with Gabriel Kane, IMG model Niels Weiss, and two people who would later join her at Dolce & Gabbana, influencer Cameron Dallas and elite model Anais Gallagher. The week before, Thylane was across the pond for New York Fashion Week, where she also had a front row seat for the Michael Kors presentation. There, she wore a shimmering animal print top and moss green pants, both of which were made by the designer. Indeed, Thylane was lucky enough to be styled from head to toe by Kors himself, and modeled an impressive array of his latest designs, including a $1,395 silk shirt, and a pair of $695 pants. She also carried a $8,000 green crocodile Michael Kors handbag and wore a pair of the brand's stroppy $550 heels. Thylane put on her best pouty face at this event, too. She wore her ombre hair straight around her shoulders, 
and her dewy skin appeared to have been expertly made up with bronzer and blush. Thylane clearly appears to be trying to prove she has grown up, after first making headlines as a little girl. Now a teenager, Thylane is a brand ambassador for L'Oreal, and has been named the face of a perfume by French designer Lolita Lempicha. She also appeared in Dolce and Gabbana's Spring 2017 campaign alongside Zendaya, Lucky Bluesmith, and Presley Garber, and walked in the designer's Fall 2017 show earlier this year.